so I am filming on my phone. I am filming with a ring light behind me in a very horribly lit room. It is way too late at night, but um, we're going to try this YouTube thing out again. Hello everyone, my name is Marissa. I have filmed hundreds of YouTube videos in the past. I've had a thousand different YouTube channels, but I'm ready to get serious. I My life since the last time I posted anything on the internet has changed dramatically and I have been through so much. And with zero subscribers and probably zero views for the first little bit on my new channel, we're hoping that this is the channel that is the winner. I will link all of my disgusting, horrible 12 year old channels in the description down below if you guys want to check out how cringy I was as a child and how much I didn't care what I was posting online might be viewed by a bunch of people. And my most recent channel that was made was between me, my ex-boyfriend, and two of my friends who were also in a relationship. And that is actually the last time that I had posted any content online was when we made that channel. So all of those channels will be posted down below if you guys care to watch them. This is going to be an update on my life. It's going to kind of be like a drawless draw my life and kind of um, everything there is to know about me up until this point and a little bit of what is going to be happening on my channel. So I might as well just talk about how much my life has changed since the last time I posted content. So the last time I posted content online was with, like I mentioned earlier, my ex-boyfriend, my friend who was dating. We were all kind of like mutual friends and we were all dating. And um, we decided that we wanted to start a channel called Goals Squared. And um, at that time in my life, it was a very dark place in my relationship. It was a very dark place for my ex. Um, and we really wanted to make content that people would enjoy and people would watch. And we tried very hard. We had meetings together. We wrote down what content we were going to do. We tried filming everything that we possibly could, throwing it into a video and throwing it online. And then stuff kind of fell apart within that friendship group and stuff also fell apart within my relationship. Me and my ex broke up, I believe, I don't know, July, August of 2017, somewhere in those days. Don't quote me, I don't exactly know. In October of 2017, yeah, at my job that I was at, we were having somebody transfer down from a store in a city that was about an hour and a half away from where I was working. And I will say his name, hi Vince, if you're happy, happen to watch this. Um, he is a big part of, of um, how my life took off and how my life has been extremely different. A couple months later and a couple months into Vince working with me, me and him developed a tight bond and he told me that there was somebody that I should really meet because he thought that we would be perfect for each other. And that person's name was Kieran and he worked for the same company that I worked for in the other city store and he worked with this co-worker Vince and for a couple of months I want to say he first told me to talk to him in November ish and I just I was newly single I was still unsure about how I felt about the breakup with my boyfriend we were super on and off so I wasn't sure where that was gonna go I thought I was still in love with him even though it was not right to be in love with him whatsoever <laughs> And um, so I just kept kind of pushing this off and being like, I don't want anything to do with him. And my coworker tried so hard. So flash forward to December of 2017, um, some guy comes into our store and is talking to Vince and like my manager and stuff. And subconsciously, like I didn't even look at this guy and be like, yeah, I want to be with that. Like literally subconsciously in my brain, I was like, I need to bend over. I need this guy to think I'm cute. Like for whatever reason, I was like, I need this guy to go to my coworker Vince and like tell him like you work with a hot chick, and that's the hot chick right there. I found out later that that's exactly what happened, and my tactics worked. Um, 
So yeah, that was like beginning of December. And then at the beginning of January of 2018, Well, my roommate just came home, so I have to go let her in. At the beginning of 2018, <sighs> gosh, okay, I got really drunk one Friday night, and I woke up, and I was hungover. I was literally, like, in my pajamas, my hair was tied up in a bun, I hadn't brushed my teeth, no makeup on, looking like a hungover, grungy mess. I get a phone call from one of my coworkers, and he is like, you gotta get down here right now. There's a Michael Kors purse, it's brown, it just came out, like you need to see it, it's only 50 bucks, like you need to come buy it. I was like, $50 Michael Kors purse, I am in, is it cute, send me pictures. He's like, I don't know, I'm busy right now, I can't send you pictures. I only lived literally a two minute drive from my work. I could walk to my work in seven minutes, I could drive to it in two minutes. Like it was so super soon. So I was like, I'm not gonna sit and waste time and get ready and I'm not definitely gonna let a $50 my course purse slip out of my hand. So I was like, I'll be there in 10 seconds to buy it. Like, I'll be there soon. So I literally just leave the house looking like a grungy mess and I get there and every one of my coworkers starts laughing and I'm like what is so funny like I get I look weird but like I'm just here to see my Michael Kors purse like why is everyone laughing so hard <sighs> my coworker Vince then walks up to me and he pulls me aside he's like do you want to see your Michael Kors purse I'm like yes why is everyone freaking laughing at me like show me this freaking Michael Kors purse that I came here to buy I turn the corner and Kieran as you've heard in the story the guy from the other store was standing right there they were trying to set me up with this guy, and I looked like a bag of dicks. Kieran texts me later, and he's like, I'm so sorry that they made you do that. And I'm, the exact text back was, I'm more upset that there was no Michael Kors purse than I was upset that you had to see me like that. A couple weeks later, so January 20th is my birthday, and um, it was my 21st birthday in 2018, so my parents decided to do a Vegas theme. So basically, we were just gonna go for dinner at the casino, go to the casino, and then go to a bar. I'm from Canada, hi. We've been able to go to bars since, I've been able to go to a bar since I was 18 years old. So literally, it was just like, we were gonna go to the casino, have a like, Vegas theme night, and then we were gonna head to a regular bar by our house and just get tipsy. I got a text message from Kieran that night saying that he was in my city, down visiting, and I should come out for coffee, I think it was, with him and Vince. I was like, well, I am currently at dinner because it is my birthday, but I was like, if you want to come to the casino, you are more than welcome to come to the casino. So he texted me, he's like, we're here, we're out smoking. I was like, cool, I was coming out for a smoke anyway, so this works perfectly. Went outside, met him for the first time throughout the next month. So from the 20th to the 20th, me and him, the 20th of January to the 20th of February, me and him texted a lot. And he was literally the nicest thing I had ever met. On the 20th of February, 2018, I was driving around with my friend. We were just on a cruise and Kieran was Snapchatting me. And we were just like talking about stuff or like when we were gonna, when he was gonna, when I was gonna see him next or whatever. Don't know what we were talking about, but he said something along the lines of like, oh, well, something, 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 boy thing. He's like, your boy thing. And I was like, my boy thing? Like, I was like, what, is that the step before boyfriend? Like, you gotta apply, you gotta put in your application to be a boyfriend, not a boy thing or whatever. So I was like, I, he, we like made the joke about like him sending in his application to be boyfriend and like I told him it'd be five to seven business days before you hear back from him or before you hear back or whatever. And then I was like, okay, joke's over. I was like, we are long distance right now. Like, it's not like I'm expecting you to come down and ask me in person to be your girlfriend. So I was like, that's it. Like, we started dating that day. Um, and he would tried so hard. He came down and visited. I would literally call him at work and be like, I'm having such a rough day. My car broke down. Customers yelled at me, blah, blah, blah. And like, when I got off work that day, he would have traveled the hour and a half down from his city to my city just to come make me feel better, come out to karaoke, do whatever, just to see me and spend time with me. And this was like a week into us dating. Like, he was just, he was so committed into our relationship. And, um, I knew that it was going to be a long, I just looked at him and I knew, like, this is going to be a person that I would want to see myself spending the rest of my life with. A couple of months, not even, into our relationship. So we started dating in February. And we go through the end of February to the end of March. And at the, like, literally at the end of March, 
um, I called him because like he would come visit me but if we if he wasn't in my city we would spend every hour of the day that we had free on the phone or on FaceTime because we were just so crazy about each other from moment one that we could not not go a minute without hearing each other's voices like we were insane about each other I was like when should I move down he's like whenever like the first like when you can I was like well I love my job and I'm not gonna screw them over so I want to put in my two weeks so I was like I put in my two weeks that ends me on a Thursday why don't I move on the Friday and that was the scariest thing because then I wrote my rudder uh, I wrote my rudder I went to my parents and I told them I'm moving in two weeks because I still I had just recently moved back in with my parents and um, I had um, I looked at them and I said I'm moving out in two weeks I'm moving to the city and um, I really see a life in the future with this person so it's what I want to do and it's what's right and I know that it's right and uh, it, just, it gives me anxiety thinking about how, uh, like how, just I was so spontaneous about all of this. Um, and yeah, I wrote my father helped me write up my letter of let le letter. Jo God damn it, my letter of resignation that night. Um, I loved my boss and I loved my job. That was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do was hand in my letter of resignation to my boss. He knew and he made it super easy. I literally walked in and he's like, hey buddy, how are you? And I'm like, we gotta talk. And he's like, I knew this was coming. But I think the most important change that has happened in my life, which is gonna spark a lot of content on this channel, is the fact that on September 29th of 2018, we had a very intimate, kind of intimate, not very intimate, he's not very much to so there's us proposal. And yeah, that's kind of where my life has been since the last time I posted content on this page. And I think, I don't know, I think the last video I posted on there, which like maybe I'll go and find and see what the last thing I post on there is, because I honestly cannot tell you what the last thing I posted. Maybe a vlog of being in West Edmonton Mall, or maybe it was, you know, foundation review or something about Eugenia Cooney or something. I don't know, but um, there has been a lot in my life that has happened, and literally the last time um, that we posted content was probably just under two years ago. So in the last two years, my life has gone from being in a completely different relationship and being with a completely different set of people in a completely different city to meeting tons of new people and having tons of new friends, living in a new city, being engaged to the love of my life. That has been my crazy life. That has been my crazy little update since the last time I posted content on the internet. probably gonna be posting a lot of content about the wedding excuse me if you guys want to see any of that content then subscribe turn on post notifications so <laughs> now that this intro I mean now that this outro has been eight minutes long please subscribe please like please send your friends um, and I hope that this channel takes off in the way that I have been really hoping my content does for a very long time thank you guys for watching this far and caring about my life that of a nobody <laughs> and i will see you guys in my next video that should not be my outro bye